Hi, I am Alisa Tanvir from Skillcurb. And in this video, we are going to learn how to load data, specifically a CSV file into your Neo4j database. Let's start by creating a new project. Click on new and from that select create new project and your project will be created. The name for every newly created project is project by default. And if you want to change it, hover over the project, click the edit button and give a new name to your project and simply click tick and your project will be renamed. Now let's move towards creating a DBMS into your project and for that click the add button which is parallel to your project name and then select local DBMS from it. Here you have to provide a suitable name to your DBMS and a password that you already defined. Select the suitable version and click create. It will take some time for creation and after a few minutes your DBMS will be created but it is not started yet. To start it press the start button present in front of your DBMS name and after a while it will be started and will be ready to use. Now we will move towards the actual loading of the data and for that we have to place our files into the import folder of the Neo4j desktop and for that click on the three dots beside the open button select open folder and select import this will open the import folder for the Neo4j desktop application. Now I will copy my CSV files which I need to import and I am going to paste it into the import folder of Neo4j desktop. Next we have to write some cipher queries and for that Click on open button in Neo4j and this will open the Neo4j browser for you. Once the Neo4j browser is open, you will have the workspace in which you will write the cipher query. So first I am going to import the product file and for that I am going to write this query where I am using the load command from and I am going to give the path of the file which I want to import. So this load csv command is going to load the product.csv file into the Neo4j and I am going to return the number of rows that are imported. Execute the query and you will see that the output is 77 which means that 77 rows from product.csv are imported. Next I will use the same load csv command to import the orders.csv file, run it and you will see the output shows 831 rows. Similarly I will import the order details file and upon running you will see that 2156 rows are imported. Now in order to verify whether the rows have been actually imported I am going to use this query. Here once again I am using the load csv command to load the product.csv file and here instead of returning the count of rows I am returning the actual row and I am limiting the number of rows to be returned to 3. Upon executing, you will see the top three rows from the product.csv file that have been imported. To display the data of orders.csv file, I am going to use the same query, but here I am going to limit the number of rows to five instead of three. Execute the query and you will see the top five rows from the orders.csv file having order ID, order date and ship country for all the five rows. Similarly, we will display the order details file and I am going to limit the result to eight. Execute the query and you will see the top 8 rows of the order details.csv file having quantity, product ID and order ID for all the 8 rows that are returned. And this is how you can use the Neo4j desktop application to load data into the Neo4j database. This is all for this video. Thank you.